So let's talk about Chef. Chef is a configuration management tool uh, that gets your machines into a desired state. Uh, and for this demo, we will be uh, getting a base server, um, just a basic Linux server, into uh, a configuration which is for a web server. So uh, for the demo, I'm using Chef Demo 7 as the server. And as you can see here, uh, when a server is added to Chef, all the attributes about that server are captured. And you can see them here. Um, you can see information about the Chef client running on the machine. The interval is at 60 seconds. So every 60 seconds, this machine is checking into this Chef server. And what it's doing is when it checks into the Chef server, uh, ask the Chef server if there are any configurations that it would like to have applied to it. Uh, Chef Demo 7 here, uh, if we look at the run list, all it has is the base Linux role. Uh, the base Linux role just uh, installs some packages to get the Linux machine up and running, and uh, which includes the Chef client. Uh, so if I just save here. And you can see the last check-in is a few seconds ago. So uh, Chef Demo 7 checked in recently and uh, saw that nothing had changed. It already had the Linux role, and so it didn't really do anything. Uh, so the details of Chef Demo 7, uh, as we covered before, the attributes. Uh, that includes everything about the machine, the file system, the CPU, how many CPUs we have, uh, everything. Uh, so this information can also be leveraged in the future uh, for the machines. Uh, to create new cookbooks, new recipes uh, to be applied to the machine. So if we go to the details, we see that it has an IP address here of 192.168.5.117. And if I try to hit that, it doesn't come up because there's no uh, web server running on it. <clears throat> so um, what I'll do is automatically refresh this every 10 seconds to show that there's nothing here. And uh, let's say the, a common scenario is that you have uh, some web servers and they're presenting content uh, to your customers. And if uh, a web server goes down, obviously your customer cannot reach your website and uh, view your products. Uh, so you, you want to uh, mitigate the downtime as much as possible and Chef helps you do that by storing the configuration for that web server uh, locally on the Chef server. And if that web server has the uh, web server or website role or whatever you want to call it, uh, and it goes down, you can create a new server uh, and just push out this configuration to it. And now you're back up and running. And uh, so this will demonstrate how quick that can happen. So as you can see here, um, still refreshing. We have about... Um, three more seconds and we refresh and still nothing's here uh, so this is uh, for instance one of our new servers we just created because our website went down and we lost all of our stuff uh, so I'm gonna come in here for Chef Demo 7 I'm going to edit the run list and I'm going to put the web server role uh, into the run list and I'm gonna save this and that's all I'll have to do. Uh, so the next time this node reaches in to the Chef server and asks uh, uh, for instructions on what it should be doing, it'll get the new role of the web server. <clears throat> that role will be applied and everything in the background will kick off and Chef will install the uh, all the components that make up the web server, which include HTML, JavaScript, CSS, uh, open all the firewall ports necessary, and any, anything else that you, you need to have uh, set up for your web server. So it's no longer a manual process that somebody has to do and um, there, there are no mistakes that can be made by hand and if there are mistakes in the code you can push this up to the chef server and push a change up to it and any node that has that web server role will get the change automatically when it checks into the chef server. <clears throat> so this is uh, still refreshing and it is checking every minute and if we caught it at the end of its last check-in, well, we might have to wait a minute uh, for it to get the new instructions. So this is very uh, a very powerful tool, uh, configuration management. Uh, 
not just for your web servers, uh, but also your databases. If you need to <clears throat> set up a new database quickly, uh, you can do that within minutes. And you'll see how uh, quickly this uh, runs. And uh, we'll, we'll take a look at the background process after this uh, just to see what's going on behind the scenes. This is more of a, um, a higher level uh, view of what, what's going on. Uh, so as you can see, still empty response. We're still refreshing every 10 seconds. <clears throat> and we refreshed. I'll stop my refresh from happening every 10 seconds now. And now you see the same IP address. Uh, within a few minutes, our website's back up and running. Now this is just an example website. And as you can see, everything works. It's fully functional. <clears throat> Customers can now reach your website. You uh, hopefully weren't down for very long. Uh, you can even see that your plugins for Google are working. Uh, your contact page, everything's back up and running. Now, if uh, if for some reason you had 10 web websites and web servers go down at the same time, uh, they're completely destroyed. Uh, you can rebuild them and then apply this role to all 10 of them, and it would happen in parallel. You would have your 10 websites built in parallel. Uh, you're back up in five minutes. So that's the power of Chef and configuration management.